Hello everybody and welcome to another video on my channel. Um, if you're new, hi my name is Zena. So today I have a sort of different type of video for you. Um, Talia from Talia's Nail Tales and Sarah from Sarah's Nail Secrets. I will link both of their um, YouTube channels down below. Make sure to go and check them out. Um, they created um, this video and it is the nail industry tag video. So they created a list of questions um, and they're trying to get as many nail techs as they can um, to answer these questions. Um, just to give a little bit more information about um, each individual nail tech as well as to give everybody um, just kind of an idea and a sense of the nail industry as a whole. So there is uh, 10 questions and a bonus question. So let's just jump right in and I'll give you my answers to the nail industry tag video. Okay, so question number one is, how long have you been in the nail industry and what inspired you to be a part of it? So I have been in the in nail industry for pretty much exactly three years. Um, I got certified Exactly three years ago I wrote my test, um, beginning of September, it's now the middle of September, so it's been almost exactly three years that I've been in the industry. Um, and what inspired me to be a part of it? Um, I never ever ever pictured myself in this industry. Um, growing up I was the very sporty person, I never had nails, my hair was always in a ponytail. Um, this was just never something that interested me, however, I loved painting nails. Um, my mom's been getting gel nails for about 13 years now, roughly, um, and she'd always just get the French tip, um, and then she'd always ask me to paint them. So that's where my love for this industry started, was with regular nail polish, painting my mom's gel nails. Um, and so when I started going to university, I decided, hey, you know what, I could do this part-time, um, supplement my income a little bit while going to school, and so after my first year of university, I took my nail tech course, and I did it part-time, and I absolutely loved it. And here I am today doing it full-time. Uh, question number two. Have you ever wanted to give up? What made you change your mind? Any advice to those who struggle? Um, to be honest, I haven't really ever wanted to give up. Um, I'm still relatively new to the industry. Yes, I have had my struggles, as does everybody, but I've never wanted to call it quits. Um, there has been times where I'm like, I don't know, am I good enough? Um, is this something I want to do? And like I mentioned, I started this part-time um, just to supplement my income while I was going to university. Um, I hated university, hated, hated, hated it. It's not for everybody, don't be afraid to fail at university. Um, I'm a university dropout technically, um, but I am way more than happy now doing what I'm doing. Um, so, no, I've never wanted to give up. Um, I have struggled. Um, you just kind of have to push through it, find your strengths, um, kind of find your niche, and just go with that. Um, people will come to you for the quality of your nails, your own personality, um, and you just have to kind of push through and just find where you belong in this industry. Okay, question number three. Um, what part of doing nails has been the biggest struggle to master for you, and what has been your strongest part? Um, for me, um, currently, my biggest struggle is kind of the business side of nails. Um, I just started, actually, I'm almost at my one year anniversary of doing this full time. Um, and the business side still scares the crap out of me. Um, I'm Come tax time, I'm like, Dad, can you help me? Um, I'm really unsure of how I... Um, can write things off, um, just everything for the business side of things. Um, I feel very confident about the quality of my nails and stuff, but the business side of this industry is very much not talked about. Um, so I feel that lots of people struggle with that and that's where I struggle. Um, if I had to pick something directly related to nails, I would say it's my shaping. Um, other than my original class, I've never taken a shaping class. Um, that's on my bucket list, I just haven't had um, the opportunity or the funds to take a shaping class yet. So I've just been kind of picking up tics, trips, tips and tricks from other people. Um, it eventually will be um, something I do invest in, is a shaping course. Um, but for now, yeah, I'd say the business side of things and my shaping is where I struggle. 
Um, and the second part of that question is, what is your strongest point? Um, for me, I'd say it's the quality of my nails. Um, I have very few lifting. Um, I don't struggle with that. I found a combination that works for me. Um, and actually, if you check out my recent uh, nail favorites video, I talk about what that combination is. And I found it works for the majority of my clients. Um, I have very few problems. Um, my clients go anywhere from two weeks to like seven, eight weeks um, with very few problems. So I'd say... Yeah, just the quality of my nails is one of my strongest points. Uh, so question number four. Who is your biggest inspiration in the nail industry? How do they inspire you? Okay, so this is a very loaded question in my opinion. Um, I would say my biggest inspiration is all of you. Um, every single nail tech out there has something different to offer. Whether it's a new art design, um, just being there to talk to about struggles, um, offering advice, giving tips and tricks about different products. Um, it's very, everybody has their strong point, everybody has something to offer to this industry. So I don't really want to pick out individual people who inspire me because I honestly grab inspiration from a huge range of different people, from people who are still in school to people who have been in the industry for 30 plus years. Um, it's, I don't, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of name dropping, so just every single person who contributes to this industry in some way or another is my inspiration. Um, number five, what's your least favorite color and piece of art to use and what's your favorite? Okay, so piece of art to use, my least favorite, um, has to be striping tape. It can be very, very finicky. Um, it's hard to cut the pieces correctly. It's hard to get them to stick down. Um, I do hope to have a striping tape video kind of tutorial type thing up eventually um, because I have found some tips and tricks to help. Um, but striping tape is by far the hardest piece of nail art um, to get to function correctly. Um, it's just, I've tried a whole bunch of different types of striping tape and they're all very finicky. Um, so that would be my least favorite um, art piece. Um, my least favorite color has to be yellow. Yellow is an extremely hard color to master and to come up with designs for. Um, I find yellow does not go with lots of people's skin tones. Um, there's kind of a whole variety of different shades of yellow and so you have to find one that's pretty but still yellow. Um, it's hard to mix different colors in with yellow. Um, I just find it hard in general to use yellow. Um, I experience lots of shadowing with yellow or they're like neon, kill your light, kill your eyes, highlighter bright yellow. Um, so yeah, yellow is definitely my least favorite color to work with. And my most favorite has to be probably pinks. Pinks are very popular with my clients, so I'd say pinks are... Um, something that I enjoy working with. Um, you can combine them with a whole bunch of different colors and they always look pretty. So I'd say pink has to be my favorite. Okay, question number six is how has social media helped you in all these years? Um, personally, I'm not very great with social media. Um, I post my pictures, um, my clients contact me through social media. I'm part of some nail tech groups on social media. But apart from that, I don't really work my business through social media. Um, I do a lot of word of mouth, um, and then they'll send, um, I'll send my clients to my social media page to look at my work. Um, but as I'm only three years into this industry, um, that's, a point, that's a part of this industry that I really want to work on, is um, improving my presence on so social media, improving my following. Um, it's... It hasn't, I can't say that it's helped me in this industry yet, um, but it definitely is a place where I draw um, some ideas from. I'll look up other texts and um, pull some different ideas from them. Um, without social media, I wouldn't be able to do that. But it's not something that I use um, to run my business currently, but it's definitely something I want to work towards. Okay, number seven is, what is one nail art skill you've seen others do that you could master yourself that you currently feel you can't? Um, intricate hand painting. Um, I love hand painting. I feel in my area I'm one of the only ones that offer um, hand painting. Um, my clients are always very impressed with my skills. However, I want to get into more intricate, so like more character drawings, uh, more like really fine details. Um, 
I've seen it, it's plastered all over Instagram, all over Pinterest, things like that. And I really want to try to master that skill. I feel like I can, I feel like I just need to take the patience and learn how to do such fine lines. And kind of, for me, a big thing, especially with characters, is like the proportions. Um, I'll always get like a huge forehead and then just have a tiny little space for the face. So that's something I really feel like I can't do right now, but I feel like I could master um, once I give it an honest go. Okay, number eight. Starting today, money and education weren't an issue. If you had to stop doing nails, what would you do instead? Um, I would love to be a travel vlogger. Um, I have grown up traveling. I've been very fortunate to travel to many different places. Um, and I'd love to continue doing that. Um, funds are not always available. Um, I am getting married next summer. We just bought a house. Budget's tight, um, but if money and education were not an issue, I would travel and I would vlog or blog about my experience. Um, I follow many um, travel bloggers and I absolutely love them. I wish I could join them. Um, so I think that's what I would love to do is just get out there, see the world, um, and help those who might need some help to travel. Okay, number nine. What do you think the next big trend in nail art would be? Something we haven't seen before. Okay, I find this one is a little bit challenging. Um, because I've only been part of the nail industry for three years, I haven't really been following nail trends um, before that. So I'm not sure what all has already been out there. Um, but I feel like the next big trend to hit will be kind of more realistic nails. And by realistic, I mean um, like objects um, out in the real world. I know it's already starting to kind of be in that direction um, with the geode nails, um, but I feel like we're going to get more wood nails, more leaf nails, um, kind of more stone nails, um, just kind of more like textured nails. And by textured I don't mean like bumpy, like fuzzy nails or things like that. I just feel like the nails trends are going to go towards more kind of like three-dimensional but flat if that makes any sense. Um, so I'd say that's where the industry's going right now, but who knows, um, it all can change in like a blink of an eye, so we'll see. Okay, number 10. What are some of your nail goals you have set for yourself for this year? All right, so as I previously mentioned with one of the um, questions, I really wanna increase my social media presence. Um, I wanna work on YouTube more, I wanna work on my Facebook and my Instagram more, and I just want to get myself out there a little bit more in the industry. Um, I wanna work on my shaping, I wanna work on my art, um, just improve. Um, this is approaching October 4th will be my um, one year as a full-time esthetician. Um, I mainly do nails, so I just want to grow um, into the best version of myself that I can be. And I feel like YouTube, social media, and art and shaping classes will help me get there. Okay, so that is all the official questions. And one more bonus question that they created. So the bonus question is, um, why do you think nails is the bottom of the barrel? Everyone is willing to pay for a full set of lashes. Um, for a hundred dollars, but gasp when nails cost more than 60. Why? Okay, I feel this is a loaded question, and I really do not mean to offend anybody with my answer. Um, this is my personal opinion. Um, I feel like nails have been a lot around a lot longer than lashes. Um, so there's a lot more products you can buy on, say, eBay or like AliExpress or things like that um, that are not quality products. Um, and by quality products, I just mean they are not professional. They may have chemicals in them that are not suitable to be putting on your nails. Um, so I feel like they are readily accessible, so just anybody feels like they can do nails. Um, they feel like there's not um, training needed. They can just pick up a brush, pick up some gel or acrylic, and just do nails. And so that's where a lot of damage comes from, and that's where um, this nail industry gets a really bad name is from people who are not trained correctly. And yet again, training is very limited. Um, that's another area where I think there's a fault in the industry. Um, there's not enough training out there for those who want it. Um, sometimes you have to travel a long ways to get training, and sometimes it can be right next door, you just don't know about it. 
Um, so I think that is why there's a lot of untrained professionals out there who are diminishing the um, kind of name of the industry. Um, whereas for lashes or other beauty treatments, um, they're not the products are not readily available to just anybody. Um, so there's less people kind of damaging their name. Um, so I feel like that is why people will pay more for a set of lashes rather than a set of nails. So that is the end of this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, to go with this video, I would like to tag Liquid Chrome Nails, um, Carrie from Elite Nails, and anybody else who would like to do this video. Um, please do it. I would love to hear your answers. Um, I know Talia and Sarah would love to hear your answers as well as they are the creators of this tag. Um, so thank you very much for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, um, leave me any suggestions you have for future videos, and have a great day. Bye!